Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Kingdom Voyager Class Inferno. As you can see, looks amazing. His ultra mode is that of a fire truck. Looks impressive. His primary colors are mostly red, silver, black, gray. Has an Autobot symbol right in the front. Looks amazing. Nothing on the back, but what can you do? He's a repaint and a retool of Grapple, which is amazing from Earthrise. And just looks amazing. Um, will he appear at the time of this recording? Will he appear in a Kingdom? Maybe hard to say. Anyways, so Inferno comes with a bunch of accessories. Comes with these um, looks appears to be fire hoses wrapped around the sides. Comes with a gun. Comes with the same little nozzle piece as uh, Grapple did. Has a fire hose here. That's about it. The ladder will extend and rise, which is great. It, it shall rise to the top of the tower, like that, so all the way up. And yes, it will rotate in a very tight joint. So all, all it needs to do is to rotate a full 360 degrees as it snaps. And I broke the figure. I'm just kidding, I didn't break the figure, but... Anyways, all in all, it looks amazing. What can you do? And we're just gonna start removing accessories for the purposes of the transformation. Um, the uh, the transformation is as follows. The transformation, well, as I've said many, many times, is as follows, but oh well. Wheels look great, love the design, looks amazing. So what can you do? What the fucking hell am I saying? I'm just kidding, I'm just being silly. All right, the transformation to robot mode is similar yet different to grapple. But some of, some of the bits are the same. So again, unpeg this and whatnot. Get the feet looked up like that. And then we get arms here. Rotate around. And then we're just gonna. Oh yeah, there we go. Then we're going to flip around the fists. Sorry, sometimes things like this do like to, you know, get in the way and whatnot. Anyway, okay. So get the body here. And then of course, like before. Sorry, do this, then we we pretty much adjacent it into the Leviathan Abyss, like that. Around the head, tap into place, lock it around. The I will say that flipping down the ladder piece can be a bit tricky. So yeah, just be really mindful when you uh, get into that part of the transformation, click it into place. And of course, the last little bit, of course, is taking the, unpeg these, and flip them forward to giving you the turbines along his head, like that. But there you go, there you have Inferno in his robot mode, and my goodness, doesn't it ever look amazing? It really does, it really is. Articulation-wise, it's the same as, well, grapple, so, not going to get in too much detail into the transformation. Looks amazing. Has great waist articulation. Look forward back leg movement. Like that. And there we go. Take a look at the head. Looks very impressive. It really does. Um, nice little yellow highlights and whatnot. So, what you know, um, I think these are like fake. Like, I think this is part of the ladder for. Fire truck mode? I could be wrong. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention vehicle mode. Inferno would make a great cameo slash uh, support role slash uh, detective slash uh, main protagonist in Chicago Fire. Why? Because I think it would. I think it would be a great little crossover. Just saying. As far as weapons go, the uh, the un. Um, well, actually, not, not the un, but you can take the hoses right here. Um, put it all on the side here if you want. And then, now of course, the main 
hose here and the little there little right there so there, there's that um, the gun can just say I'm gonna plug in here and as for the little nozzle here um, oh, saved saved you uh, just plug it into the side here just for the purposes of the re review and whatnot so all in all well, I recommend getting Inferno. Absolutely, highly recommend it. Looks amazing, transmission's fun, Co colors are great. Fire truck mode looks great, his vehicle mode looks amazing. Very vibrant and red and whatnot. And really, it's just a blazing um, experience. Really is. Um, of course, Grapple was amazing at Earthrise. I mean, I'm literally staring at him right now. Um, but Inferno looks equally amazing as well. His involvement in in the Earth in the in Kingdom for the War for Cybertron trilogy that will be something to behold. Even though we've got well a handful of episodes left until that trilogy concludes, but as far as I know, Inferno looks great. Highly recommended purchase. Well, we just point by him one bit. Looks amazing to say the least. Looks epic every each way possible. So that is that's my yeah. So yes, that is my video review of the Transformers Generations Kingdom of, of oh for, I forget. He comes with another card here. Again, it's Dinobot, which is weird. I wish he'd come with, you know, an Inferno card. But when you peel it back, it, it's a, it's pretty much the, like the, ooh, amazing, love it. Uh, more box out. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it is Dinobot, pretty much in the, looks like in the desert or something. I don't know. That's pretty much what it is right there. So, yeah, got to shut it off. But anyway. Anyways, that is my favorite review of the Transformers Generations Kingdom Voyager class uh, Inferno, uh, or out for yes, or whatnot, or. But imagine if we get Beast Wars Inferno, the Predacon Inferno from in, King, in the Kingdom line. It'd be quite amazing. It'd be quite a coincidence. That could that could lead to a possible storyline in Kingdom, whether you know Autobot Inferno becomes the Predacon Inferno. I don't know, or maybe there's. At least in Kingdom, we know what what happened with Inferno and Beast Wars and whatnot. But anyway, that's my video review the Transformers Generations uh, Kingdom Voyager Class Inferno. I'll see you all very soon. I'll be back as soon as possible for the next video. Yes, take care, everyone. See you soon. Good day. Catch you later. Bye.